So this is another quick tutorial uh, for when you slice a sample. If you slice a sample, then sometimes at the end of it, you'll have a little click because the next part of the sample is coming in. So um, you, you want to be able to get rid of that, whether it's editing or whether it's fading out. I'll go through how you... Uh, I won't be focusing too much on how you slice a sample because I've already gone over that, but what I will be focusing on is once you get the sample sliced, how do you either edit the click at the end of the region out or fade it out after you've created the program? So let's get into that. So let's talk about trimming up samples. All right, so I got a couple samples in here from uh, some sounds that I was just playing. So the difference in these is it's not necessarily a two bar loop. I don't really really care to get into the looping on this. What I usually do when I'm making beats is I, I play sounds and I sample them or I play over tracks. And then when I get to a point where I think I wanna use that, I'll just have a bunch of samples just kinda of laying around and, and I'll pull up something like this that I wanna mess with. So uh, I'm just gonna go, we'll do uh, uh, 16 chop equally at 16 and then I'm gonna move these samples around a little bit so uh, I'm on region 1 and so we select the region notice if you scroll through you'll be able to select whichever region you want to edit in this case I'm just gonna start with region 1 so I'll go Q link 2 and pull that back a little bit so that you don't hear the next part of the sample or you don't hear a clip at the end. So that's cool with me. It, it, it's not as clean as I'd like it, but I can go back and clean that later. So I just want one note in each sample. Like that. Now, this may not be uh, something that everybody does and maybe I could have did this better with a with a beat but this will give you the, the exact idea of what I'm doing because I just want to chop these samples and I want to um, put them on separate pads and I'll probably go back and fade the end so you don't get the clicking because that's a huge thing sometimes when you chop samples you end up getting a clicking at the end when you're putting them into a sequence you know playing it on the pads so back just a little bit all right so we go to the next region and I'm just using Q link 2 to adjust the endpoint um, of each region that I'm in all right next one Oh, here's a perfect example of something that you might run into. Um, sometimes you may want to combine chops. So I got region five here. And that's cool, but then it's the rest of the note is on region six. So what you could do is go to, uh, put it back on region five, go to edit. Um, you want to combine region. So you go and you select region one which is by default what it's going to say you're going to do change that to five and change the next one to six so basically you're telling the mpc combine regions five and six into one sample do it and then so you got region one two three four and five which was five and six but it's combined now So we got uh, regions 13, 14, and 15. I want to combine those. Um, so I'm going to go to edit, combine region. We're going to change the first number to 13. And the last number to the last chop or the last region, which is. So we're going to combine 13, 14, and 15. So it's 13 through 15. Do it. And now we have on region 13. All right. So we'll keep it at one. 
Um, but what I was seeing is there's a little clipping. Right, you hit a clip at the end. A little bit of clipping. So I took it off multi, I hit pad one, and then I'm gonna go mode trim. It brings up pad one sample. All right, and you can hear it clipping at the, uh, or you can hear the little clips, the tick at the end. But we don't want that, we want it to be smooth. So I'm gonna take uh, Q link one, and I'm gonna move it all the way back towards the end of that sample. That's the clip that you hear. You don't want to cut that off. What you want to do is fade it. So go edit. Fade out. Right. Now that sounds, that don't sound like much right there, but we've just faded the end. So let me bring the Q link back all the way to the beginning of the sample. And when I hit it, you'll hear the difference at the end. See how smooth that is? Now we'll select the sample at the top of the screen and uh, use the will to go to the next sample, sample two. That one's a little better than the first one, but I wanna fade it anyway. So I just select the last little bit of the sample. It's not much, go edit. It's already set to fade out, do it. And you see it doesn't have a clip at the end. So I'll do this to all the samples just because I want them all to be clean at the end. All right, so there you have it. Now we've sliced the sample. We've uh, used the Q-Link 2 to edit the sample back and forth, you know, to edit the end part of the region. And we've also gone in and uh, told it to fade out the last little bit of the sample so you have a clean end. So if you're playing a sample throughout the pads in a sequence, you don't hear a click after every sample ends. That lets you, you know, basically we're just gonna fade out the end of it. That's what we've done. Uh, another thing we did is while we were slicing, I showed you how to combine a region because sometimes if you do a slice a certain way, it may take a whole region that you want to be one and slice it in, you know, different parts. So that's it. Thanks for watching B-Boy Tech Report. More to come. Peace. B-Boy Tech Report.